Hello, hello, friends, and welcome to episode 40 of Storytime Yoga. We are so excited. This is a special episode today. Not only is it episode 40, but there are four friends of ours that have birthdays today, and one of them is a 40th birthday. So we have decided to, and I'm, and he hasn't joined us yet. I'm waiting for him to join us, but we have decided to do, to read a special, special book today. It's called Pinkalicious and the Perfect Present by Victoria Kahn. So we are reading that in celebration of all the wonderful birthdays today. Our Euro is here. She says, hashtag live and good morning. Good morning, our Euro. She is our good friend and she is the author of the Bentley the Hippo book series that we have um, that we have read during Storytime Yoga, one of our favorite series. All right, friends, if you are joining live, please do put hashtag live, hashtag busy kids in the comments. And if you're watching the replay, put hashtag replay, hashtag busy kids. I am Miss Mel, your children's yoga instructor with Breathe With Me Yoga and your mindset coach with Rise to Wellness. All right, we are, because it is a big birthday day today, we are dedicating today's 40th episode of Storytime Yoga to Michael. Hopefully he will come in in a moment for his 40th birthday. All right, friends, I invite you to come to your mat, your blanket, or your piece of floor while I step back to my mat to begin class. All right, let's go, Miss Avery. Oh, Miss Mel will bring her cushion with her. Okay, I think Miss Avery forgot her. I, I'm going to have that during reading. Thank you. I think Miss Avery <laughs> forgot her mat and some shorts under her <laughs> dress. Oh, my goodness, oh, friends. Four. Okay, sitting up nice and straight and tall in crisscross applesauce or in hero's pose, remembering that hero's pose is on the fronts of your legs with your bum on your heels, friends. All right, starting class. Sitting up nice and straight and tall. We will begin our breathing together. Thank you very much, Avery. All right, if you're joining us for the first time, friends, you will see our breathing ball. And as we breathe in and make our belly all full of air, we make our ball nice and big. And as we breathe out and get rid of all that air from our belly, we make our ball nice and small. So sitting up nice and straight and tall, we're going to do our first round of breathing. Breathing in and out. In and out. In and out. Good job, my friends. Now, remembering that although we are sitting up nice and straight and tall, our shoulders are staying very relaxed. They're not coming up as we're breathing. We're breathing in through our nose and out through our nose or our mouth. And as you can see, I've handed the ball to Avery. And if you don't have a ball at home, you can follow along with Miss Mel with just your hands, breathing in and out. So we're going to do our second round of breathing, breathing in, friends. And out. In and out. In and out. Good job, my friends, and good job, Avery. All right, Miss Avery, you can put that breathing ball down and take this blanket. All my friends at home, you can stay on your blanket, your mat, or your piece of floor. I will move my cushion forward to begin our story. Our beautiful pink delicious and the perfect present for all of our friends who have birthdays today. Please do remember, friends, uh, first of all, if you'd like to buy a copy of Pinkalicious, we will uh, drop the link to purchase in the comments as usual. And um, I don't remember what else I was gonna say. Oh yes, please do uh, say hello in the comments because we can see that people are watching, but we can't see who you are anymore on our new platform. So please do say hello so that we can give you a shout out. Mm -hmm. All right, pink delicious and the perfect present. I feel like we've read this before. Mm -hmm. At home, maybe, yes. Mommy and I were riding our bike when I saw something ahead that looked like it might be fun. And look at Mommy and pink delicious are riding their bikes along with their dolls. <laughs> they have four seats on the bike and they're riding with their dolls. So my friends, let's come to our mat, our blanket, our piece of floor, and let's ride our bicycles with Pinkalicious and her mommy. So coming to your mat, your blanket, or your piece of floor, Ooh. come onto your back. Oh. 
No, bicycle. Come on to your back. Put your bent legs up and bicycle. Bicycle in the air. Miss Avery doesn't have shorts on, so she's going to be careful. <laughs> Miss Avery, watch your dress, please. <laughs> Thank you. All right, good job, my friends. Miss Avery is going to run and get a pair of shorts to put on. <laughs> well, Miss yep. Mel continues with the story. All right. Good job, my friends. <clears throat> Look, Mommy, I said, there's a yard sale. You might find a vase. I might find some pretty jewelry. Let's go find some treasures. Mommy smiled. Maybe I'll find a book for us to read together, she said. Look at that, a beautiful yard sale. And you know what, friends, what's right here in this lovely picture and I always love to do is tree pose. So let's be trees and let's look down on this lovely yard sale and let's see what we'd like to buy at the yard sale. So coming to your mat, your blanket or your piece of floor, I'm just gonna adjust the camera a little bit, friends. Tree. There we go. All right, now you can see us, friends. All right, so we're gonna lift one leg and get our balance. We're gonna tripod here or we're gonna bring our foot above our knee or below our knee if we have our balance. And we're gonna bring our hands to heart center to get our balance. Now I have Miss Avery beside me, so I'm gonna do partner tree. I'm gonna hold her hand to help her with her balance. If you have mom or dad or brother and sister at home beside with you, you can do that too. I'm gonna to put my big tree branch out. Good job, my friends. And we're gonna switch feet now. Do you wanna put this foot down? You can tripod here if balance is an issue. And if not, you can bring your foot above or below your knee, not on. All right, bring your hands to heart center, getting your balance. I'm gonna hold Avery's hand. No, thanks, think she has her balance. So I'm gonna put my big tree trunks out. This. My big tree branches. This leg is better balanced. Yeah, she's balancing well on that one, friends. Remember yesterday? All right, I friends. This leg while you're in tree, I want you to look down at that garage sale, friends, and see what you would like to buy at a neighborhood garage sale. I think we're buy that house. huge elephant. The huge elephant. Yeah, it's a nice one, isn't it? Good job, friends. <clears throat> Here are two dollars to buy yourself a present, said Mommy. I'm Sally, said the yard sale lady. Let me know if you need any help. Then I saw my friend Molly. Hi, Pinkalicious, Molly called. Where do you think I can find some fish? Wow, look at Molly. She is all done up in um, with a fishing rod. And scuba she's got... <laughs> mask. Yeah, she's got a scuba mask on. She's got giant, giant galoshes or boots. I think she's going to go fly fishing. That's why she has such giant boots. So, friends, let's pretend that we are a fish for Molly. And I'm going to show you with Avery. Avery's going to go on my mat there, lying down on your back, on your mat, your blanket, or your piece of floor. Miss Mel's going to show you right here. So put your head here ready to lie on your back. <clears throat> oh, I think I know. Yeah, so you're going to keep your knees bent for a minute, and then you're going to put your hands flat underneath that bum. Lift that bum, and then put your bum down, and then put these legs right out. Put your legs straight out, Avery. Put your bum down. There you go. Point those toes that way. And then slowly, slowly, you're going to come to the top of your head. So lift your chest. Nope, just lift your chest and leave your head on the ground. That's it. And come to the top of your head. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Nope, lift up <laughs> like that. <laughs> there we go, friends. There's, there is fish pose. Keep doing it so we can show our friends at home. <clears throat> Put your hands under your bum. Right under your bum. Good job. Lift that chest right up high. <laughs> Lift it right up high. There's fish pose, friends. That's how you do it. It is hard, but we need it to show. Okay, you can come down. Good job. So we need it to show our friends at home how <laughs> to do that when Miss Mel's not there to show you. That was a good job. <coughs> that was hard on my head. I know. <clears throat> Next, I saw my friend Lila. She had on a dress, a necklace, a hat, and big sunglasses. They were all purple. I tried on Lila's feather boa. Hello, darling, I said. Don't you just love the opera? All right, look at this. So actually, Darla looks like she is in warrior pose as she shows off her purple dress and her purple hat. So let's show off our dress and our hat. What color is your dress and your hat, friends? 
what color dress or hat do you have on friends let's show it off so let's come into warrior pose let's make our legs nice and far apart I'm going to go that way first. So I'm going to point those toes that way. And I'm going to bring these toes in. Be careful on your blanket. If you are on a blanket at home, friends, it might be best to come off onto the floor so that you don't slide because your legs are pretty wide apart. And all we're going to do, friends, is we're going to bend that front knee. Our arms are up and we're going to bend that front knee. But we're going to do something special with our arms today because we are showing off our dress and our hat, making sure that our knees, our knee is above our ankle, friends. So it doesn't matter how low you come just as long as that knee's over your ankle. All right, I'm gonna do something special with warrior pose today. First, I'm gonna put this hand to my hat, and then I'm gonna put this hand to my dress. I'm gonna hold my dress out and show Pinkalicious your hat and your dress. Mine is purple too, because that's my favorite color. So what color's yours, Avery? Purple. Purple is her favorite color too. All right, I'm gonna leave my feet where they are. I'm gonna go to the other side. So I'm gonna point those toes that way and bring these ones in. I'm gonna put my arms up and bend this front knee. Good job, friends. And I'm gonna bring this hand to my hat brim, and I'm gonna bring this hand and pull out my dress. Show Pinkalicious your hat and your dress too. Tell me what color it is, friends. Good job. All right. Standing up, Miss Avery. Good job, everyone. Molly found some fishing treasures. Lila found dress-up treasures. I hadn't found anything interesting. If I was ever going to find my own treasure, I needed a plan. I know, I said. I'll look for pink. Well, imagine that. Pink Alicious is going to look for pink. There it is, obvious. friends. <laughs> is that obvious? Yeah. All right. All of a sudden, I saw pink everywhere. And you know, friends, that happens lots. When you set your mind to something and you know what you're looking for, all of a sudden you see it everywhere when you didn't see it before. It's funny how your brain kind of tricks you like that. Now I had lots to choose from. I could hardly carry it all. You need this pink wagon to carry your collection, said Sally. Look at Pinkalicious trying to carry that whole collection of stuff. So let's be pink, like Pinkalicious at the yard sale and let's collect up all of those things so when we were in tree pose we looked down at the yard sale to see what we'd like to buy from the yard sale now let's collect it all up so we're going to do walking lunges okay so coming beside me to save all right i'm going to go just straight across but you can walk through your holding room gather up all this stuff gather it up hold it in your arms and walk and lunge walk and lunge i'm going to be stay staying on my map but you can walk all around your living room or wherever you are friends Walk all around the room, holding on to that stuff. Walk and lunge, bring it up to Miss Sally or whoever is running that yard sale in your neighborhood, friends. Good job, my friends, coming on back. Just gonna lift that up a little bit more. Good job, my friends. Miss Avery has just walked through our entire house and is making her way back in her walking lunges. Uh, what a silly girl. All right, this hat is perfect. Pink, perfectly pinkerific, I said and twisted to my left. This tea set would be pinkatastic for a party, I said and twirled to my right. All right, look at Pinkalicious. Look at how she is. When she holds that hat and she holds that tea set, she's actually in Warrior 3 pose. So let's do Warrior 3 pose and pick your favorite thing. What's your favorite thing from, a, from the yard sale? What did you pick, Avery? <laughs> I'm gonna put this mushroom in between my legs, friends. I and turn to the that side. I would pick the purple dress. The purple dress? All right, I like that. I'm gonna pick a big I'm fancy a hat. Teddy bear. I'm gonna pick a big fancy hat, pink hat with a big flower. All right, so we're gonna pick up one leg, get your balance. We're gonna slowly bring that leg back and bring your arms forward. And in those arms, I want you to pick up what you chose from the yard sale and be happy. Be happy I'm doing about the post pink licious is in and yeah. on the cover. She's being happy. On the cover, she has so the present. I've got my hat in my hands, and I'm going to switch sides now. Okay, just don't cover Miss Mel, okay, so that friends can see. All right, so I'm going to turn this way. I'm going to pick up this leg. I'm going to get my balance. I'm going to slowly bring that leg back. I'm going to have my hands here for balance first. Then I'm going to put my hands out, lift that leg as much as I can, and I'm picking up my hat. What do you friends have at home? What did you pick from the yard sale? Avery has her dress, her purple dress. Miss Mel has a pink hat. Good job, my friends. 
please feel free to write in the comments and let us know. Whoops, now I'm dizzy. Wow, look at that, I gasped. I saw something that was better than all the rest. It was pink a perfect. All right, she fell to the ground doing all of that dancing, friends, and she is sitting in a forward bend. So friends, we are going to come to our mat, our blanket or our piece of floor. We're gonna bring our legs forward and we're gonna pretend we just fell there. Oh, we did all of that dancing around the picking of the item that we're gonna buy and we fell, but we are gonna do a forward bend. So hands up and come into your forward bend. And if you want, you can say, whoa, I'm so tired. Then you can hang in ragdoll there if you want in your forward bend, keeping your back <laughs> nice and straight, friends. <laughs> oh, Miss Avery. <laughs> Miss Avery's just cheating. She's laying back. She's having a lay down instead of a forward bend. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> what are you doing at home, friends? All right, keeping your back straight, doing that forward bend. Good job, my friends. It was a pinkatastic music box. I know this song, I said. Mommy sings it to me at bedtime. I had found something amazing. I had finally found a treasure. Look at that beautiful music box. I wonder what she's gonna do with that music box. I didn't want the tea set. I didn't want the hat. I wanted the music box, but not for me. How much is this, I asked. Two dollars, said Sally. It would be a surprise for mommy. All right, look at those beautiful things. So she had the hat and the tea set and she had the music box there on the table and she's gonna take the music box for her mommy. But you know what? Miss Mel can't let a tea set go without doing what pose, Avery? What pose? Triangle. Triangle. All right, so friends, let's be that teapot sitting on the what table. And we're going to do triangle pose. So let's bring your legs out wide like we did for warrior pose when we modeled our hat and our dress. We are going to, I'm going to go that way first. So I'm going to point those toes that way, bring these toes in. And we're going to say I'm a little teapot. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle and here is my spout. My spout is the way I'm going to go. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. So we're not coming forward, friends. We're just coming to the side. We're stretching here. We're bending oh, right here like, in our hips. You're going to feel it in your legs and your side, friends. And then if your shoulder's back, you can bring your arms straight up. Oh, that's a good stretch. You don't have to stretch for the floor, friends. Just grab your leg wherever you are. That was a good And we're going to come up. We're going to do the other side. So I'm going to move my feet, my toes that way. Bring these toes pointing in. I'm going to put my arms up. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle and here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. So I'm tipping right from my waist. If my shoulder's back, my arm can come up. Oh, Otherwise, I'm gonna keep it right yes. here on my waist. I'm gonna go as low as I can, but I don't have to touch the floor. Because we just want this good stretch all down this side. Good job, yeah, my friend. Yeah, that's a good, good stretch. Good job, my friends. Then I thought of a problem. Uh-oh, I said. I whispered in Sally's ear. Hmm, let me think, said Sally. I've got it, Sally said. Take this old purse for free and hide the gift inside. Mommy will think I got the purse and won't see the present. Thanks, Sally, I said. Look at that beautiful purse that she hid the music box in. What does it have on it, Aves? A star! Oh, it's a shell. It's a starfish and two shells. Yeah. A starfish and two shells. So let's do shell pose, my friends. Shell pose? I thought yeah. we were going to do star. Oh, we could do star. Let's do both. All right. So let's come to your mat, your blanket, or your piece of floor. We're going to sit, stand in mountain pose first. Then we're going to spread our legs. Yeah. And make sure you're stretching right from your waist, right down to the floor. Stretch, 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 stretch those legs. And then stretch those arms up high. Yeah. I, want, I want you to be stretching from your arms all the way out and from your hips all the way down. 
Good star pose, my friends. Now we're gonna sit down on the floor and we're going to do shell pose. So remembering, Yay. shell pose is like a forward bend, but we're gonna bend our knees. It's basically turtle pose. It's like turtle pose, it's yes, the same thing. So we're gonna bend our knees, we're gonna bring our hands down on the floor and then put our hands underneath our knees. I'm touching <laughs> Avery here and do our forward bend, okay, friends? All right, so this is like our shell closing, see? Our shell is closing, like a clam shell is closing. Keep that forward bend, keep that back straight. Good job, my friends. You can also do other stuff with this pose. Yes, you can. <clears throat> like, you can All right. hold Thank your you. body on your hands. The next okay. morning, I got up early. I made a card that said, I love you. I wrapped the present. Mommy came in with her coffee. I hid behind the sofa. What is this? Mommy asked. She had unwrapped my present and was holding up the music box. All right. So mommy is sitting on the chair, on the, uh, and like she's in chair pose on the sofa there, and she has unwrapped her music box. So I want you to pretend that something special came for you from the garage sale, friends. We're going to come in chair pose. Come into your mat, your blanket, or your piece of floor. There's a little bit more room in between my legs than normal because we're going to come into chair pose. So pretending that that sofa is right behind us, we're going to put our arms up. We're going to sit back on that sofa, friends, and bring your arms down and unwrap that present. Sit back. Unwrap that present. Avery is not sitting. <laughs> unwrap that present. All right. What is it? Tell me what the present is, Avery. What did, I, what did you get from the garage sale? Well, I got a pair of glasses. She got a pair of glasses. Miss Mel got another hat. I love hats. Hats. I got a beautiful, I'm gonna put it on my head. What I'll did you get at home, on. friends? At home, what did you get from the garage sale? All right, I jumped out and yelled, surprise. Look what I got for you. It's a music box, listen. I turned the key. Oh my, it's my favorite song, said mommy. I told you we'd find a treasure at the yard sale, I said. Mommy gave me a hug. Look at that, and Pinkalicious is dancing to the beautiful music. So our very last pose is going to be what? Dancer pose. Dancer pose. Good job, babes. All right, so coming to our mat or blanket or a piece of floor, there's this much room in between my legs. I'm going to turn so you can see me. We're going to pick up this leg, and we're going to get our balance. And then we're going to grab that ankle with this hand. Same hand, same ankle, same leg. We're going to slowly bring that foot behind us. We're going to bring this arm forward, and we're going to push that ankle out back into our hand. Dancer pose. It's easy on this leg. It's easier to do dancer pose than it is to do warrior three because you're hanging on to your leg. All right, so we're going to turn and do the other side. I'm going to pick up my leg, get my balance. I'm going to grab that ankle with my hand. Ah! This leg is hard. <laughs> yeah. This leg is hard. And then I'm going to slowly bring ah! that leg back. I'm going to bring this arm forward, and I'm going to push that ankle back into that hand. Dancer ah! pose. Yeah, Avery's having trouble with her balance. I'm having trouble with my knee on this this side, so that yeah. bothers me smell a, a little on that knee. It's hard to hold but, your leg up yeah. on that. Yeah. Sometimes the best presents are the ones you give. So she means that it's the best presents are the ones you give and not the ones you receive. What a beautiful, beautiful book, my friends. All right, we know what time it is now, my friends. It is time to lay down in relaxation. All right, friends, you can sit crisscross applesauce or in hero's pose, or you can lay down on the floor, whatever you prefer. If you are sitting in crisscross applesauce, then please do put your hands in your lap with your palms open. You can set them on your knees if you like. If you're lying down on the floor, please do put your arms out beside you with your palms facing up. <clears throat> and we are going to pretend that we are laying in the grass at the garage sale, beside the garage sale. <coughs> Excuse me. Laying in the beautiful, beautiful grass, my friends, relaxing your body, closing your eyes if you can. Relaxing your shoulders, closing your eyes, Miss Avery. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your chest and your waist, 
relaxing your arms and your hands. And if you like, you can make big fists with your hands and squinch them tight and then let them go. Let those palms face up. And you'll notice that Avery is relaxing against something. So you can sit against a wall or a sofa or a chair if you like to help your body relax. Relaxing your legs and your feet. Letting your feet drop off to the side. Relaxing your face, friends. Making sure you're not squinching your eyebrows. Letting your mouth relax. I think Avery's tired. <laughs> She's having a give yourself a big yawn if you need to. And relax that face. Good job, my friends. And as you're sitting or laying there beside the garage sale, what kinds of noises do you hear? Do you hear the bell on a bicycle? Do you hear somebody bouncing a ball? Or do you hear people talking? Or maybe you hear the music of a music box. You hear the birds chirping and the wind through the trees. And just as you let those noises go, you do the same with your thoughts. Allow your thoughts to roll in, recognize them, and let them go. Good job, my friends. And remembering the more you relax, the more your body enjoys it and thanks you for it. And yawning is a thank you from your body. So it's okay to be yawning. Just allow it to come. Your body's thanking you for relaxing. And quietly inside your head, I want you to say to yourself, I am healthy. I am a giver. Good job, my friends. And so just as Pinkalicious realized in the book that it's the best gift is to give and not receive. And she found that out because she went looking for something for herself at the garage sale and she bought a gift for her mommy instead. She got more joy out of giving the gift to her mommy than she ever would have gotten buying something for herself. So that joy that you feel when you give a gift to someone or give anything to someone, give kindness to someone, you to take that joy and I want you to send it through your whole body. Send it to your chest and your waist, your arms and your hands, your legs and your feet. And most of all, send that joy to your head and your heart. Keep the feeling of that joy in your head and your heart and know that anytime you decide to give anybody anything, whether it's a tangible gift or whether it's kindness or a smile or laughter, whatever that gift is, know that it brings you joy and it brings them joy too. It's the best gift is to give. Good job, my friends. And take that feeling and send that joy out to everybody you know. All of your neighbors, friends, teachers, all of the helpers out there all of your extended family. And then bring that joy back into your heart and your head. And when you're ready, friends, keeping your eyes closed, roll to one side, bringing your knees into your chest. If you're already sitting, just stay sitting where you are. But you can slowly start to wake up your body, moving your hands, wiggling your toes. And when you're ready, friends, come on up sitting and join me on my mat. Sitting up crisscross applesauce. <whistles> Bringing hands to heart center. Sitting in hero's pose as well, if you like hero's pose better than crisscross. Hands to heart center. All right, we'll end class with namaste. I feel good in every way. The goodness in me sees the goodness in all of you.
All right. Thank you so much for joining us for episode 40 of Storytime Yoga, my friends, where we read Pinkalicious and the Perfect Present. And here it is again, friends. We will post the links in the comments below to purchase this book if you'd like to purchase and follow along with the recording later. I am Miss Mel, your children's yoga instructor with Breathe With Me Yoga and your mindset coach with Rise to Wellness. We thank you so much for joining us today. And we wish you all a wonderful Thursday afternoon. We will join you all here tomorrow. Take is it care. Thursday friends. already? It is. Oh, wow.